Hello, and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm doing a non-violent response to a violent attack. The guy walks up behind me, and he either grabs on my shoulder and pulls, or he pushes me away. Now originally, when I was taught this, somebody would grab and pull, and I would strike. Or they would push, they would strike the other way. Then I ran into somebody who spent time in jail because he struck somebody that grabbed him in that manner, and it turned out to be a policeman. And I thought, well, I just really not what I wanted to do. So how am I going to defend against that? And what if it's my grandmother? Gosh, that would not be good at all. So what I came up with was something that I saw Steve Perry do in one of his books. The guy feels danger and he steps away. Same thing, he feels it on the other side, he steps away. I've adapted this a little bit. Mostly I have to be aware there's somebody coming up behind me. It doesn't work if I'm asleep. If I'm focused and I'm ready and the guy grabs and pulls, then I simply step back. My hands are here. Same thing on the other side. If he pushes me in this way, then I step back, bring the hand up, kind of like, wow, okay. I can kick, I can move, I can step, and do a variety of things. But the basic idea is that rather than going kind of like this, what I'm doing is I'm moving offline. In other words, he pushes, he's pushing here, so I'm moving over to here and turning. Then I come back. Then he was pulling, and pulling that man over there. I simply step off line. Give me hands up like, hey, you know. My hands are up and they're close and they're ready, but I'm not actually in the danger zone. So the idea is that if he pushes, I step. And if he pulls, I step. But I have to be aware that it's coming. Otherwise, it's not going to work for me. Anyway, something like that. 